Awesome. Thank you for joining us. This is Joshua Peterson with Peterson Electric. We're here today in beautiful Colorado looking at a complaint on a house that they have lost power. And typically the complaint I get is that half the house is out of power and the other half is working. A great indicator for somebody over the phone to me when they call is, first of all, do you have an electric or a gas range? Do you have an electric or a gas dryer? If you have electric, that's great because you can typically turn on the electric range on all the coil burners or glass top as well as the bake element, the broil element, and also in the dryer turn that on. And then you can hit the washer as well. And you should see stuff fluctuate because both of those items use both phases on the house. And so what we're looking at today is to show you how to indicate this. If you're somewhat experienced and you don't have a deep fear of electricity, my suggestion is to get some really good gloves. Um, we use Klein and their cowhide gloves, but they work wonderful. Here's a panel. What you do is you take out the screw, take off the dead front, and then in here is your panel. This has a main breaker at 100 amps, and these are your branch circuit breakers below it. Here's your neutral and your grounds. This is an older home, so it's a little different than a newer design, but it's a good purpose. Take your meter and go to voltage on the AC side, Go ahead and just clamp on to something. And what you're trying to look for is phase to phase. So whether you go here to here, you're getting 248, or you go here to here in the breaker, 248. Now from here to here, it should be 120, and then on B phase, also 120. Now I'm remind you, it's a nominal voltage. You can get from 110 volts up to 123. If you start seeing it around 127 volts, you're gonna start popping light bulbs. But in this scenario, I've had homes where the voltage fluctuated worse once they turned the appliances on. And then you would catch it on your meter, all of a sudden one phase would go up to about 180 to 220 volts, and then the other phase would drop down to 50 volts. That indicates there's a, a neutral that's gone bad. And in this home, the power comes above. So the first thing you would look for is your connections up above, or possibly a loose lug here in the panel. If it comes in from below, you may have a loose connection underground or also in the transformer pad. We've also had it where the lug on the breaker has gone bad, and when that goes bad, your complaint is going to be more like um, the lights are flickering on this side of the home but not that side. My dryer is not heating. My range is not heating quite well enough. If you lose a neutral, you could have it as a scenario if you hit a switch in one kitchen, the bedroom lights turn on, or you go to the bedroom and the living room turns on. It shouldn't happen that way typically with a decent home with good wiring. The reason why it's doing that is because it's looking, the neutral in the circuit's looking for anything to go back on. Whether it's a ground or another neutral, it still will find its path to earth. Anyways, if you have any concerns, give us a call. We do emergency service 24-7 and we can take care of you. Our number 720-641-8866. Thanks for coming and look forward to talking to you again.